Just kind of talk about, uh, you know, kind of your thoughts on the offensive performance. Today. Well, you know, if you take away the turnovers, and uh, I think we had back-to-back -back penalties, you know, right there before halftime. I thought we did some good stuff. Uh, but the turnovers were really a, a big part. Killed momentum, uh, gave them momentum, and, uh, you know, made it a dogfight in the second half. But I was pleased with uh, the way we were able to, to run the football in the second half and, uh, you know, give it to Michael Dyer and, and, you know, help put the game away. How long has it been since you got under center that much? Uh, you know, it's, it's been just a little bit, but uh, we just really felt like we need to go downhill a little bit more, and, uh, you know, and, and it was effective. Uh, what, what kind of job did Derek Mack do? Just, just, you know, you know I think he did a solid job, you know, but uh, anytime Brandon goes down, you, know, you got to move Slade over, and then you know, Eric gets his first action. Uh, but I was proud of the guys up front because that's tough to do on the, on the run, and Justin and uh, Coach Grimes did a really good job, uh, you know, with those guys. Was it kind of like old-fashioned football out of the second half? It was a little old-school football, probably. Yeah, that's probably fair to say. Is that kind of the offense you're going to need next week, do you think? Or, I mean, uh, I'll just say this. We'll need a great plan. You know, there's no doubt. You know, I peeked ahead a little bit, and they've, uh, they're outstanding. There's no doubt. But we're excited. We're excited. We've been looking forward to this and looking forward to putting the plan together. And Coach, you always have a, a great plan when it comes to the, to the Iron Bowl. Two years ago, everybody was just shocked at how quickly and with the, with the trick plays and everything like that that this team had. Um, just talk a little bit about, I guess, how you plan a little bit differently for this game, or do you plan differently for this game? Well, I mean, it's a big game. Game, there's no doubt, and as a coach, you know you love coaching in big games, and you got to have your best plans and uh, to give your guys the best chance of being successful. And we will work extremely hard to do that. I'm like getting uh, Trevon Reed, you know, four catches today. He got a little bit more involved. In the yeah, offense. that was good. You know, he made that play when he cut it back all the way across. You know, he, he's got some electricity to him. You know, in the open field, and so it was good to have him back. And I think he's getting more healthy too. What's it feel like uh, with this possibly being your last iron ball? I, I don't know. Are you tell me something I don't know. <laughs> One, so it's hard to, to completely, you know, be upset because um, you know it's tough to get a win. You know, everybody said we weren't going to get two or three wins, and uh, you know, it's the seventh one, so we, we have something to be proud of. You know, but at the same time, we know we're a lot better than this, and we know we have to get a lot better right now. You proud of your speed on that touchdown? I was a little surprised um, myself, um, but uh, you know, I saw the opening. And I was like, I, I mean, you know, it's have some passion when you think about it. But I was subconsciously thinking, like, you know, I gotta get in there, I gotta get in there. And uh, you know, it was, uh, uh, it was, it was surprising myself, honestly. Um, but uh, you know, I'm just glad I was able to score. You know, it, it kind of helped us. We needed something right there. So I was just, I'm just glad I was able to help the linemen out and uh, the rest of the team. You grew, you grew up watching Iron Bowl and Leroy, and, uh, and now you get to play and start in it. What's that gonna be like playing at home too? I guess. Uh, you know, it's kind of a big deal playing in the Iron Bowl. And, uh, you know, coming from Leroy especially, I uh, never dreamed of, uh, you know, playing SEC ball. I mean, I dreamed of it, but never thought I actually would. And, and here, we are, here I am starting in the Iron Bowl. It's, uh, you know, it's a dream come true. It's, you know, no moment's bigger than this in the state. Um, and, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the focus goes to the quarterback regardless, um, you know, if we deserve it or not, and, uh, you know, whether it's good or bad. So, um, you know, it's a big spot I'm in. And, uh, you know, it's something that I, I, I mean, I love, I love big moments. And, uh, you know, it's something I'm, I'm very lucky. Thank you very blessed uh, to, you know, to be in this spot. So, uh, you know, I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity and uh, work as hard as I can this week. A lot, a lot of people aren't going to give you guys a chance. Do you, do you like that position? Uh, I mean, we're used to that. I mean, nobody said we'd win. People, people were estimating us winning two to three games this year. So, I mean, we just won number seven right now. So, I mean, we're used to overcoming odds. Everybody said that last year that, you know, we didn't have much of a shot early in the year to, to win that many games and I mean, we went undefeated. So, I mean, we're used to that around here, but and uh, we have to use that as motivation. Yeah. First off, you know, you wearing T Bell's number, well, how important was that to you? Uh, it, was, it was very important to me because, you know, T Bell is just like a brother. I mean, you know, we ride each other a lot on and off the field. You know, both of us from Florida, we, we grew up in like 20 minutes on the road from each other. So I think that, you know, it, 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 it hurt me real bad when I see him last week go down and get judged. Did, you got, did he speak to you guys before the game? Uh, actually, no, he wasn't in there. He came, uh, I forgot what, what time he got here. But he had got here a little, a little late. Did you tell him that you were going to be wearing his number before the game, or? No, I, I, actually, you know, I, I told, uh, it was going to be a surprise to him. You know. Did he say anything to you? When you... No, he just said he, he, he says, you know, just go out there and represent and uh, do what you got to do to win the game.
Wish Go you ahead. found out you could change the I was going to say, you know. Uh, I, I, I went to the coach about, earlier on in the week. Like you know, and I asked you know, a couple of the assistant coaches, you know, and then they went to coach you know, he cleared and said, I can't have him well. Do you feel faster than 22? I don't know. 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 Less material. Next week. Good to get a couple touchdowns. Can you talk about next week? Well, you know, we just got the game against Sanford, you know, that's what we've been praying for all week, you know, you know, we done got our seventh win, you know, we got to move on tomorrow and uh, and get ready for Alabama and Iron Bowl next week. Good to get a couple of touchdowns wearing that number 22. Yeah. Huh? Was it good to get a couple of touchdowns wearing number 22? Yeah, you know, I got had, had a hold down from my best friend, so even though he's going to be out there with us. Talk about how you thought you guys played for uh, I thought we, we played pretty sloppy up until that fourth quarter. We finally found a rhythm. Um, uh, like, like I said, just played sloppy. And, uh, but when, when you can get something going towards the end, hopefully it will carry up to the next week. On your first touchdown, first deep ball you've had this year, talk about that play. Um, just safety roll to the middle, so I just stayed on the hash. And Toronto did a good job of holding that safety over there. And uh, Clint just held the ball over line, protected well on that play, and uh, he just still over to me. What kind of changes have you seen in Clint since he first took over the starting job? I mean, I still still the same Clint. Um, he's a very confident kid as it is. Uh, uh, when, when he got a shot, I think he put it in his mind that he doesn't doesn't want to give that spot up that he took. And uh, you know, I'm just proud of what he's done so far. Did you guys make some changes, adjustments at halftime? We did. Um, two very similar teams, offense and defensive wise. Same schemes on both sides of the ball. So uh, we kind of just saw what was working and what wasn't working, and just uh, stuck what was going good. You played in. This will be your third honor. We'll talk about just how much better you guys are going to have to play next week, especially against Alabama. Here. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a whole different game. Uh, it turns into a one game season uh, now, and um, I know that their mindset's going to be the exact same way. They got a lot going for them, and uh, we're still fighting. So very similar to two years, the same situation we we're in, and uh, we're just going to get get in that film room, correct our mistakes from this game, and look forward to Alabama.